Gary, a, a big game coming up against QPR with the last game before the international break. Looking back at the last match, how do you assess it going into this game? How do you prepare for, for this game after what happened against Forest? I think we do like what we've always done last season and this year. We, we look at the positives, we look at the negatives and, and do something about it. I think there was lots of positives from the game. After the game, it's very difficult to, to kind of see them because of the emotions you're going through. But there was lots of positives. There was clear negatives in the game that we have to improve on and we have worked hard and the players have, have kind of took it on board this week that we need to be better in certain areas. But overall, I'm, I'm pretty happy. The group are, are in a, a good place in terms of the way we're playing. We just have to make sure we turn that into results. Obviously, nobody wants to lose 4-3 away from home, especially in the last minute. But that scoreline and, and the way the game went, does that make it easier for you to assess and, and prepare for the next game? Because you, it's quite clear where things went wrong and, and the other things that you did well. Yeah, I think so. I think if, if you play a game and, and you know the problems, then it's easier to fix. If you're, you're unsure of what the problems are, then it, it's obviously very difficult. But I think the start that we've had to the season, we've played very well in, in all the games. Uh, it's the the points total that we are frustrated with and disappointed with and that's what we have to change. We have to make sure that the good performances turn into points and uh, we're working very hard to, to try and do that and I'm sure it's just around the corner. Are you expecting to make changes for QPI? Are there any false changes you might have to make? No, everyone's fit. Uh, we've, we've had a good week's training and, and we'll look at today, we'll, we'll look at organising the team and making sure that uh, we put right what went wrong last Saturday. You missed David Perkins, of course, last weekend with a hamstring injury. Is he is he going to be back in contention for the squad? No, he'll be back at some point in the international break. Uh, he's working with the physios and he's, he's not quite ready for this week, but he'll be back at some point in the next couple of weeks. It must be a big boost then that you've, you have got a player returning in, in Jade Buxton, whose suspension is over. Yeah, I think that's a big positive as well, I think. He's, he's somebody that will come into the back line and, and give us that organisation, that leadership qualities that I think you need uh, and, and make demands of people round about him. And I think that's an important element of, of defending, that not only the defensive job, but organising other people. And I'm sure he'll bring that when he comes back in the team. It, it will be his home competitive debut. And of course, it could be Luke Garbutt's home debut. Johnny Gomez's return is a bit of a buzz developing around the players and, and seeing the new players at, at the DW? Yeah, I would, I would like to think the fans have been happy with what they've saw in, in terms of performance. We are the first to, to get down on, on not winning enough points and I'm sure they're frustrated by that as well. But I'd like to think they've, they've seen a team in every game that is, is competitive, plays great attacking football. We've scored seven goals out of the eight from open play. So we're, we're a real threat, we're a real good team to watch, but we know that that counts for nothing. We are in this to win football matches and we have to make sure we do that on Saturday and continue to do that for the rest of the season. Coming up against Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank on Saturday, who you had that little run in with last season at the DW Stadium, you, you kind of know what his team's going to bring, don't you? And obviously they made it so tough for us last season, Burton, to, to break them down. Yeah, he's done fantastic in his, his few jobs he's had so far and uh, he was a big part of the Burton success last year and, and getting the promotion, uh, although he didn't finish the job, uh, he was a huge part of it and he's went to, to QPR and stabilised a club that, that needed somebody, a strong personality to go in and, and change the way things were going there and he's done that. So. We know it's going to be a really difficult game and we're going to be, have to be at our best uh, again uh, to, to go and win it. Of course, a familiar face could line up against you and James Perch. It's always nice to see players you've, you've played with in the past. Yeah, Perch, I know him well. I played with him, managed him as well for, for the few games uh, when I first got the job. Uh, I think he's a fantastic player and a, and a great character and uh, I'm sure the fans will, will show their appreciation towards him and it'll be good to, to see him at the weekend.